It's still heartbreaking to know that over 200 Chibok schoolgirls that were abducted by the militant Islamic sect Boko Haram are still missing. So after a year now, it's still been 12 months of searching, 12 months of pain, 12 months of headache, 12 months of waiting to know if the government can rescue the girls alive. The frustrations of the parents not knowing the whereabouts of their children is too huge. I have a couple of these parents with me here and they share their stories on how it all started back there in Chibok. Some of the staff in the school that very night, they phoned their brothers and some of the staff in the school even removed their daughters. And they kept our daughters and locked them inside the dormitory. They locked them. The principal vice admin warned them that any girl who shouted will be against her paper because they were sitting exam by that time. And immediately on that 14th, I live very close to the school, about uh, some meters only, not up to half kilometer. I heard the gunshot and I heard the noise of the children shouting. Within in some few minutes, it was stopped. Now, what did you do at that point when you heard the noise? What can we do? We have to run for our lives. Abana Musa, a father of eight children, said some of the families traced the sect members after they had abducted their children from school and discovered where they hid the children for 11 days without any attempt by the soldiers to rescue them. <laughs> Twenty-six-year-old Rebecca, whose only daughter was abducted, regretted bitterly her decision to send Sarah to write her junior West African examinations in her village, Chibok. As they make you get patient because remain three months, as they say, they will bring more security. Do not go afraid. Make you take patient there. Finish your. Um, before you go come meet us for Abuja. She called the cry, she, she don't want to stay there. Come the beg her, if I don't say this thing will happen, why I don't, I don't carry my pickle cup. <laughs> the parents are stricken with grief as the situation remains unchanged except the government undertakes a more aggressive effort to fight the militant group to give them lasting peace. Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.